pleasant greetings to you. Happy Feast of the Holy Child. Let us start with a video clip on the missing piece. Haven't there been times, when you were so convinced, of the good you do? Yet, you were so different, from the rest of the crowd. Haven't there been times, when even the people close to you, did not understand you? When the learned, and the so-called wise of this world, they all looked at you, with suspicion, or, even condemned you. Aren't there times, when you know and feel, that the pieces of your life, just don't seem to fit? Or, simply, there is just, a missing piece. And it is right in your middle. Yes, a vast empty space. A lonely place of quiet tears. Maybe, tears from failed relationships. Tears from abandonment. Or, from fears of being left alone. Or tears from the pains of mistrust and betrayals. That no matter where the tears come from, they only leave behind, a mysterious space of emptiness deep inside you. My friend, the Lord knows what you have been through. And He knows what you are going through, right now. Because, He has been there before. And, He is willing to journey with you. He holds the key, to this empty room, in your heart. Remember, he sees the big picture, and he completes it. He is, after all, your missing piece. Let us entrust the empty spaces of our world to him. So, how do we deal with loneliness? I know what you may be thinking, Father. We are just beginning the year and you talk about loneliness? Yes, of course. Last time we talked about staying the course of conversion to new life, right? One major stumbling block on any journey is loneliness. And you cannot face the journey right with a missing piece inside you. That's a fact. So here are some reminders for us who are members of the Lonely Hearts Club. The first reminder is this. The first condition needed to see the big picture 
is the light of God. The prophet Isaiah tells us the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. It will not be possible to see the whole picture of God's role in our lives if we continue to live in the darkness of sin. Please expose these dark areas to the divine light of God's mercy through remembering, repentance, and reconciliation. For unless you see the big picture, you will be unable to see where there is a missing piece and the roles that God and your attitude play in the big game of life. The second reminder is this, look at the big picture from a distance. Retreat with God. Of course, you'd never see the big pics if you just sit inside a corner of your shell moping. By retreating with God, I mean exercising self-objectivity, the ability to realistically assess your personal strengths and weaknesses with God as your mentor. You know, it may entail making the most out of your time alone. Aloneness, as opposed to loneliness, can be a very positive experience. Aloneness or solitude gives us a chance to reflect on our lives, to meditate on God's will for us, and to find healing for the wounds inflicted by the world. Plan regular times of solitude in your life. Mondays, you know, my days off, for example, are my solitude days. Nothing heavy, really, lifting your thoughts up to Him and making Him ask you, How are you doing, my dear child? Engaging in honest-to-goodness self-assessment is already your prayer response. I do mine while driving. You can do yours while taking a ride to work, to school, or just sitting in a chapel corner under a tree. You'd be lucky to find one in the city without muggers, though. Or your school or office canteen, of course, with a notebook and pen in hand for props. Don't invite suspicions. The third reminder is this. Admit the lack. Only after you acknowledge before God and yourself that you are lonely and feel empty, can you take the steps necessary to escape from your isolation or feeling of emptiness. This is not easy, of course, for those who only want the picture-perfect image of the self and not the big picture. And mind you, huh? the bigger picture can look so ugly that you would want to disown it. Please do not. Just own it, admit it, and accept it. Especially before others find out about it, when it can really look and feel ugly. The fourth reminder is this. Consider the causes. Evaluate your life honestly. Identify what the causes are of your loneliness, of your emptiness. Is it your attitude? Is it your self-perception? Do you need to break free from some thinking or some conventions that do not make you a better person? Are there negative emotions and behaviors that may be at the root of your loneliness or emptiness? The fifth reminder is this. Accept what cannot be changed. For example, the death of a spouse or of a child or of a son or a daughter or a friend, a relocation away from old friends and other unalterable circumstances that must be faced squarely. God can use transitions in our lives to open doors to new experiences, but we must be willing to let go of the past and move on. The sixth reminder is this, 
alter what can be changed. Many of the causes of loneliness or emptiness can be overcome. Do you fear rejection because you feel inadequate? Do you stay in your home watching television when you could be at a social function? Has your best friend moved away? Regardless of the reason for your loneliness or emptiness, you owe it to yourself to make measures that will meet the problem head on. And the final reminder is this, submit your empty space to the missing piece. God, pray for healing. Shempre, this is the most important part of the jigsaw game. The reason why you need to see the big picture in the first place. To put God right in that empty space. You think it sounds easy? Give it a try and you will know. Ano pa kaya ang hahanapin mo? Look at all the positions our God can fill in your life. Finally, a message for you from a 12-year-old child who sees the real big picture. A remarkable phone call from a 12-year-old boy to Houston radio station KSBJ FM 89.3. Well, they call him the Sky Angel Cowboy, the voice of a little boy who called a radio station to share a story and a lesson that God showed him, a message that has now captured the world's attention. This is 13-year-old Logan Henderson. He lives on a ranch in the middle of Nebraska. Isolated from much of the world, he often listens to KSBJ Christian Radio out of Houston, Texas, which he picks up on Sky Angel. In late October, Logan made a call to the station that would soon be heard around the world. Hey, Mike, can I talk to you? You bet, Logan. What's up? I want to tell you something that God just told me. Okay. Last night, my dad was roping this calf. And this calf had been born from a really old cow. She, she didn't have really the greatest milk. She didn't have, like, the vitamin C and stuff. Okay. She broke her back. And this morning I went out and put her down myself. I was talking to God. I was asking God why. She was special. And God said, you know, Logan, but my son was special. But he died for a purpose. <laughs> It's kind of the same thing. That calf was close to me, and God's son was close to him. Logan, you're you're so right. It's true. Think you're gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. But I just wanted to tell you guys that that is so important. Just remember when you lose a loved one or a pet. Always remember that God gave His Son too, and He understands. He will always understand. He will always just run to Him. Logan, you're wiser than you know, buddy. Oh, I just figured I'd better call and share with you guys. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye-bye. The prophet Isaiah proclaims, For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. O ano, lonely ka pa rin? Empty pa rin ba ang feeling mo? Well, if symptoms persist, consult your spiritual director or your confessor. Happy Feast of the Holy Child. May God bless you.